Okay guys, I want to start off by saying I had something completely different planned for today's video. I was going to check out that SML wiki website, but this morning I went on the website and this is what I saw. So if anybody knows how to get that website working, let me know. But I've got something special planned for today. We are reacting to the Batman analog horror. This looks really damn good. Uh, Batman's my favorite DC character right up there with Nightwing. Spider-Man's my favorite Marvel character. I'm getting off track now, but I'm excited to check this out. So shake my hand. The first video is called The Bat Incident 1959. It says outdated, but this is the first video in the series and it might be outdated, but I feel like it'll give us an idea of what the series is all about. Let's check it out. I'm hyped, y'all. Dude, I grew up with Batman, Robin, Nightwing. Y'all remember the uh, the the Lego Batman video game? Okay, April 26th. Uh-uh, hold up. We gotta read it. <laughs> I'm thinking about the Lego Batman. 20 years after the death of Thomas and Martha Wayne. Okay, shout out Thomas and Martha. The Elizabeth Arkham Asylum was placed under... Golly! Hold up! The Elizabeth Arkham Asylum was placed under lockdown after a mysterious figure was spotted near the roof of the building. I wonder who it was. Let's see. Here is the recovered footage of the lockdown announcement. Alright. This text going by quick. Okay. Attention. All staff at this time. Just follow all lockdown procedures. There has been a disturbance in the roof of the building. Uh -huh. The GCPD Gotham City Police Department and Arkham Security has been called to assess the situation. Okay. Follow all procedures for the following patients. Oh shit, Patient we got number eight, Killer Croc. Five, seven alias. Uh -huh. Waylon Jones Killer Croc. I fuck with Killer Patient Croc. Patient number nine, seven, five, six, seven alias. Kirk Langstrom the Man Bat. Uh huh. Patient number 72679 alias. Yep. Dr. Pamela Lillian Isley, Poison Ivy. Don't get me started. Patient zero, alias John Doe, the Ooh. Joker. Ooh. If you encounter anything suspicious, this alert what the fuck? Y'all gotta stop with this fast ass text, man. If you encounter anything suspicious or come in contact with a man dressed like a bat, turn the other way and alert security. Dude, I would be shitting my pants if I was like a guard in this prison. Uh -uh. This alert will keep playing until the situation has been resolved. Okay. I like the little jingle. Dun, 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 dun. The individual was described as a witness as a man in a bat suit hiding in a dark corner. Bro, they're making Batman scary as shit. Here is an artist rendition. Hell! Hold on, hold on, they hit us with the little, what was that, like a Sonic EXE kind of vibe? And then, uh-uh, he was looking creepy in that corner. Witnesses reported that the man was seen walking towards the special containment area. He's trying to get the Joker, y'all. He was said to be muttering, justice, and looked malnourished as if he was isolated from the earth for a long period of time. After which screaming could be heard from the cells, but he was never seen again. Not him leaving the way he came, just vanished from nothing. Shit. Alright. However, what he left behind haunts the city of Gotham even to this day. Let's see it. Out of the four patients in special containments, only patient zero survived. Oh, he killed, he killed damn poison ivy? Come on! The rest horribly and disturbingly murdered, each marked with a bat symbol. Come on, y'all. So this Batman kills. The bodies were all neatly arranged in, in a shape resembling a bat. Each of the three patients had abnormal bodies, but all their abnormalities were removed. Okay. Jones and Isley both had their skin removed, with Jones also having his sykes and teeth removed as well. Isley was also discovered bald when she originally had fiery red hair. Damn, bro. He cut her hair off. All right. Langstrom had his arms amputated and suffered from blunt trauma from a pipe, as well as a sharp object in the shape of a bat impaled in his chest. That's something y'all got to understand. If Batman actually went out and would kill people, that dude would be a whole nother demon. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Thank God he doesn't kill because everybody in Gotham will be dead. Patient Zero was left not touched, but left in an even worse mental state than before. Ooh, so he fucked with him psychologically. All right. Here we 
here we go again. His doctors and physicians informed us of his drawings of the man and said that he won't stop talking about him and that he is ready for when he returns. This is the image he drew. Hell nah. <laughs> hell, hell no! Alright, alright. I got it. Appreciate that. Okay, shout out the Joker. Shout out the... Oh my god. Hold on, hold on. What's next, y'all? Okay, this is the next one called Jim Gordon Audio Log Live.mp4. It says it's corrupted. So I don't know what that's about, but this is from 1960. It, Jim Gordon, that's Commissioner Gordon, right? He's like the head of the police. It's been a year since the bat incident. Okay. There have been more sightings of the Batman as they're calling him now. So many people going around in capes and masks doing... Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> if you can read that fast, you're a damn legend. So many people going around in capes and masks doing more harm than good, like the Blue Boy Scout in Metropolis and the Fast Guy in Central City. Shout out Superman, shout out The Flash. It's strange that it was the same day of the murders of the Waynes 21 years ago. Vengeance. That poor Bruce... Uh-huh. Well, we know who... Uh, it's gotta be him, right? Before he went missing, he was said to have strange behavior. According to the CEO of Cord Industries, Ted Cord had a, a friend of Bruce Wayne. He never got over the loss of his parents. He barely ate or drank and had crazy ideas of restoring order in Gotham. Okay. After, Cord told me the Cord building on Founders Island burned down. Okay, so Batman's doing arson now. With everyone inside! Hold up, Bat! Let's chill with that. Here's a photo of Bruce before. Okay, handsome gentleman. And then that's the last recorded picture of him. Wow, okay, well, obviously he's not doing good. Is that in the Bat Cave? Jesus. Some people think he's dead, others back traveling around the world, and the photo was not of him. Okay, so there's a little bit of conspiracies going around, but there are some, including myself, who think he never left. And that he is the bat. Okay, alright, alright. Tell me why I just gotta chill. Vengeance is coming. Uh-uh! Hell no! Alright, stop! Let's chill out. Imagine seeing that on TV. Like, in your hometown, if you lived in Gotham. So you think <gasps> this next one's called Gotham City Police Department Instructional Presentation 1. This is in 1962. They're probably going to be teaching them how to get rid of the Batman. Let's pretend like we're policemen. Get out! Put your hands up! Greetings, citizens of Gotham. Welcome to the GCPD's Instructional Presentation. Okay. The topic of today's presentation is on... What to do if a loved one is missing? Oh wow, okay. Perfect. Losing a loved one is a troubling experience. Yeah. Here are steps to take to ensure this doesn't happen. Okay. Step one. Don't leave your house. At all. Keep an eye on them at all times. Okay. Especially children. Well, duh. I don't... So that they don't get away. Yeah. And you lose them forever. Okay. You don't want that to happen, do you? Not Step quite. Two. Lock all your doors and windows. Okay. So they don't go out. I already do that. I don't even have kids. <laughs> Step three. Don't let them make contact with the bat under any circumstance. It will harm you. So this motherfucker kills kids as well? All right. Something about the Fortnite Battle Pass. What? Hold up. I know I'm not tripping, huh? Okay, dude, I'm on board with this so far. This Batman is just full menace. That He should be locked up in there with Joker. This next one's called The Truth, 1962. The Truth. All right. I'm ready for the truth. I want nothing but the truth. I'm not supposed to talk about this. Okay. I have tried everything I can to get this out without getting caught. The Batman is Wayne, or 
was. It seems as if the bruised side of him is gone and only the bat remains. Okay. His body is skinnier, yet he still possesses his strength and agility. He's a runner. He's a... Okay. He most likely uses some sort of drug. The sightings of him have only risen in the past two years. Who is the bat? Is that him right there? Yeah, I mean, come on. Y'all get a better picture than that. Horrible. The last incident was a little boy who was walking home from his friend's house when he saw the bat in an alley. This is the picture he took. Bro, hey, that's aura right there. I don't even use that word. The only upside of this is that the crime rates have been down. Okay. That's good. And Arkham is basically empty now. Yeah, because he killed everybody in Arkham. I have proof that the Batman is Wayne. First of all, ever since the incident of Arkham, Bruce has not been seen. Okay. Second is the leaked audio recording, which, yes, is real. Okay, says who, though? Finally, is this audio recording. Let's hear it. Do not show this to law Okay. My name is Bruce Wayne. My father is Thomas Wayne. My mother is Martha Wayne. Please don't let me die. Please don't let me Anything else? Okay. Cool. Huh? <laughs> Did anybody get that? Hello? Okay, so it's been confirmed. Bruce Wayne is Batman, but we already knew that, right? This next one's called Missing People's Broadcast 1962. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. Alright. We interrupt your current broadcast to bring you this message. Yep. There has been a significant increase in missing people. In the following areas. Gotham City. Old Gotham. Okay. The Agony Island. Bleak Island. Uh -huh. If you receive this message, you are in one of these areas. Not me. Keep all doors and windows locked, and don't let yourself or anyone leave your home by themselves under any circumstance. Uh -huh. If you see any of these children or the bat, call the police immediately. The missing individuals will now be shown. Let's see them. Richard? Okay. Actually, you know what? I think I saw him walking down the street. Barbara Gordon. Wait, Commissioner Gordon's daughter. Stephanie Brown. Okay. Jason Todd. Uh-uh. He can stay missing. He can stay missing. Keep Jason Todd missing. Uh-uh. No, no. We're good without Jason Todd. You are too late. Oh, my God. Those are... That's in the back cave, and those are caskets for the children. They... Uh, who is that? Did that say they are family now? And that's the burnt down. Okay. Alright, cool. Anything else for us? Something happy, maybe? Something light? No. This next one is just called Names. Alright. So what is that? Wayne Manor mysteriously caught a blaze. This is a photo of the house now. Oh, shit. Come on, Mr. Wayne. Most of the stuff inside the house was all destroyed except for some pictures of the family and the clock. Behind the clock was a door that led down into a cave. Oh, shit. A photo of the entry. Oh, damn. Okay. I'm rocking with that. The cave underneath was huge. Now, I'm not supposed to show or tell any of the things I'm about to tell you all because I snuck into the building myself after the police left. All right. But when I went down there, you saw the Batmobile? I saw many things I shouldn't have. Oh, shit. Okay. 
here is a photo of the bat costume that I found. I would steal that shit. Yeah, and y'all can call me whatever you want. That bat, that bat suit is mine now. Okay, I discovered so many weird things. A modified car, a bunch of random files of the history and specifics of Gotham. Uh-huh. There was another list of files, a strange one with a bunch of names, but most shockingly, my name was on there. Okay, yeah, I would probably shit my pants <laughs> if I was on one of Batman's lists. Here's the list of names. Dick Grayson, Jason Todd. Yeah, those are those kids. Stephanie Brown, Kate Kane, Luke Luke Fox, John Paul Valley, he was a real All right, Harper Road, Duke Thomas, Selena Kyle. Wait a minute. So who was this guy? Are you Duke Thomas? Who are you? How does he have my name and why? Also, why are these other people here? I don't know, man, but you kind of just exposed yourself. Whatever. Shout out Selena Kyle. Golly. Golly. <laughs> Stop. Before I could gather my thoughts, I saw them. Selena Kyle? Or who are we talking about? Hello? Hmm, mm hmm. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Um, are those people? Are those heads? Oh my god, wait a minute, I can- Okay, yeah, hi guys. How are y'all? As soon as they saw me, I got the fuck out of there. <sighs> Not before seeing him again. Oh crap. <laughs> Here come the bat. Dude, that, I mean, goodness gracious. It's just, it's radiating off him. You know what I'm saying? Golly. He didn't chase after me though, just stared while I got onto my bike. It looks like the police are trying to cover this up, probably because the chief's daughter is one of the missing. Yeah, all right. Well, we just saw her. I think we just saw her down there. We should probably go let him know. They're telling everyone that the bat is dead. That's a bold-faced lie. They shouldn't have because the crime is back up. I wouldn't trust that though. I'd be like, uh-uh. I'm gonna try to leave Gotham as soon as possible. That's probably a good idea, dude. It sounds like the worst place to live. I don't want to end up like those people in the cave. I think you might, pal, because you're on the damn list. Let's let's not forget. If you don't hear from me, I'm either taken or have left the city. I'm gonna go with taken. missing Timothy Drake is that him it, I mean we can't really get a good you know I can't I, that could be fucking anybody that could be me for all who what, like all right cool shout out Timothy shout out Drake who the fuck someone whispering what is that about don't go into the cave under Wayne Manor or I'll do to you what I did to them. To the missing. I mean, what if I want that, though? <laughs> right? What if I'm into something like that? Batman, let's chill! Okay, the next one is called Prisoner 1962. Alright. I'm Jason Todd. I was one of the missing. Alright, Jason Todd. This is a photo of the man who kidnapped me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you all what happened to the other people and why the bat does what he does. All right. He wants vengeance and justice, right? So first, I'll tell you how I got taken. I'm a really, uh, I'm from a really crappy side of Gotham. My dad was a crook who abandoned me and my mom. Role model father, y'all role model father because of this my mom started to abuse drugs so i had to start trying to provide who he got a horrible spawn point y'all i stole car parts and wheels and sold them okay 
Then my mom died of an overdose. Well, so I was left all by myself. That's never great. I'll be the first to say that's never great. Rest in peace, mom. I had no choice but to keep scrapping parts just to make some money. I get it. It's a hard life, especially when you don't really know what else to do or how else to make the money. Sometimes you gotta resort to crime. It's a tough reality for a lot of people, y'all. One night when I was out, I saw this strange car. <laughs> dude, don't tell me this dude tried to scrap the Batmobile. <laughs> Horrible idea. Nope. It looked like the car was worth a lot, so I got excited. All right, bro. Dude, Batman's sitting inside the car the whole time? Like, come on. Let's not even play. So I started to unscrew the wheels. Then out of nowhere, I got knocked out by someone. Okay. By someone. Let's not pretend, bro. Let's not pretend. We know exactly who that was. I don't remember much, but I was tied up and gagged in the car. Okay. Alright, cool. I mean, shit. I would knock your ass out, too. If I got you trying to take my tires. I then woke up in a cell in a cave, and there were other people there. What about, uh, what about the butler? What was the butler's name again? Alfred? Is he really going with all this? I made friends with, friends with one of the guys, Richard Dick, who was a performer. Okay. Dick Grayson? Wait, are we talking, isn't that, uh, Robin? Or am I getting it all mixed up? Unfortunately, Dick was the first to turn. Hold on, Haunted Robin? That'd be kind of crazy. Haunted Robin, what the fuck am I talking about? The bat used some sort of drug made out of a modified version of some substance known as venom. All right, so we're get okay. So here we go with the venom. Venom. All right. Apparently, the third movie sucked ass. I don't know if y'all saw it. Y'all, let me know in the comments. I've never seen any of the venom movies. But yeah, what is, is that like? What is that the venom right there? For some reason, I was the one last to go through the procedure, even though I was the fourth person he took. Okay. He was saving the best for last. Come on, we know the Batman. He likes to play around sometimes. The woman before me was a robber who went by the name Catwoman. This is a photo of the Catwoman. All right. All right. Hey, okay. Uh-huh. She's looking more like the Batwoman with those ears. She tried to put up a fight, but got put down and taken somewhere. Then it was my turn, which was actually earlier because one of the prisoners got out. I was then led and tied to a chair where the bat started to process, not before telling me about himself. He told me about a butler, his name, but there he go right there. He told me about how he was like a father to him, especially after his parents died, but he died a few weeks after his parents' funeral due to a stroke. Bro, poor Bruce, man. He then asked me about my family thinking I still had one. When I told him I didn't, he froze. He realized we both had dead parents. Yeah. He then started asking me about joining him to rid Gotham of the criminals. I'd be like, sir, yes, sir. Let's get it going as long as you don't inject me with that venom. I told him that he needed serious help and called him a lunatic. Probably the worst thing he could have done, man. He didn't like that response and released a gas called fear toxin restraints were removed so I used this opportunity to run fear toxin sounds fucking horrifying when I ran I felt like I was being followed that's that fear toxin then something attached to me and tried pulling me back it was a sort of rope luckily there was a sharp bat shaped object that fell which I used to cut myself loose a batarang I then saw him chasing after me although he didn't look like how he did before Wait a minute. So is it the fear toxin that makes him look like a demon? Or does he just like transform somehow? When I was exiting the cave, he just stopped. All right. After I was able to run out of the house, I started to hear rumbling. That's the Batmobile coming to get you. Oh shit, then the house blew up. I just barely made it out. Why did he blow it up though? The cops came fast and asked me questions. They asked me to draw a picture of him. Oh God. I might have to look away. 
This is the image I drew. This is off the fear toxin? Hell no! No, no, no. That's some crazy art though. Hold on. Oh, I see you! Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Why do I want to hang that up in my house? That shit went crazy. Okay. This next one is called Owl Hijack 1963. Owl? Is there an owl from the from Gotham? I don't remember an owl. Though. Any place, any time is a good time for coke. Is this back when they ha still had the cocaine and the Coca Cola? Y'all hear him say zing? Yeah, they got they got cocaine in them. Coca Cola gives you that refreshing new feeling, refreshing new feeling, refreshing new feeling. Hey, Coca Cola gives you that refreshing new feeling. Coke got that cocaine inside, refreshing new feeling. Hey, hey. Damn, look, they're they're already off it. Look, 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 they can't stop fucking shaking. That's so crazy that they use a legit book. Look, look, they're fucking. <laughs> what the hell did I just see? Dude, I wanted some of that refreshing new feeling. Refreshing new. Okay, this next one's called Crime. 1963. It's about that time since the bat died, crime has risen again. Yeah, died. There are many different criminals, many of which are very dangerous, but there is one who was the worst of them all. Does his name rhyme with the choker? <laughs> Maybe. He's killed over 30 people in the past few years. Uh, I feel like Batman's done more than that by, at this point, right? It's the patient the bat left alive. He goes by the Joker. <laughs> Wait a minute, I wanna see what the Joker looks like. <sighs> Never mind. He alone causes the murder toll to rise significantly. Most of his murders are committed towards rival gang members like the Falcons and the Bertolinis. He also might have thrown a chemical at the mayor's face. Oh, what the fuck was that? Hold on, I'm not, no, no. He's always, what? can we not do that? Can we not do that? The Joker had many different names he went by during his crimes. One of them was linked to the murder of the Waynes. Okay. There we go. We can always tell if it's the Joker's work because of the smiles on the corpse. Oh yeah, he carves smiles into him. He leaves something related to the bat. It's always watching. Here's the drawing he left. Damn, these... Joker a good ass artist! Here's another one. Okay, did, did, did Batman pose for that one? Was it like a little sit down kind of? It seems that since Joker killed the Bat's parents, it seems to be stalking and tormenting him. That's odd, but we'll never kill him. That's odd because the Batman left him alive. Of course, the police won't do anything because most of them are corrupt and have relations with various different crime lords. Protests, lootings, and other crimes are also on the rise. So Gotham's going to shit. Two-Face Liar. Oh, there go Two-Face! Also, do in part that the mayor got acid thrown to his face and went mad, so some people celebrated. Oh, so that's how he became Two-Face. Okay. Alright. All this chaos just because someone decided that the bat is dead. He's about to show back up. They made fun of it, too. With the fake owl hijack that the news put on during that Coke commercial. Obviously, the owls are fake, just an old urban legend. Okay. At least for now, no more missing kids. Just weird crazies out on the street. Hold on, that the Riddler? Doesn't he leave the question mark? Everyone hates living here, but to live there, it's extremely cheap. After my daughter was killed, I stepped down as the captain of the police and got enough money to move out of there. So this is Commissioner Gordon talking. 
If you're watching this and in Gotham, you better pray to your God because only he can save you all now. Dude, when Commissioner Gordon decides to go, it's time to pack up and hit the road. And the bat is not dead. He, in fact, is watching you right now. Not the bat! Uh-uh, I'm about to grab the bat. Can we not? That's the second... Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that really the Batman? That sounds like the Joker. Kip okay, that's the second time y'all got me with that. <laughs> this series. Let's relax. Hello? Good. Okay, this is the final entry into the series so far called Sinners and Butchers 1964. I don't know who's going to see this. My, my right ear is enjoying this. I don't know what to do anymore. There's no escaping it, it seems. Okay, who? The bat? And if want to go anywhere else... What? <laughs> what? Another freak is going to try to get me. Maybe you can go to the Netherlands. I heard they're real nice over there. I don't... I was thinking of moving back to Switzerland. But then the order would try and turn me into their Azrael. I'm not too sure what any of that means, but cool. I still go by the alias Azrael. I just don't follow the order anymore. What is the order? Even though most people believe the bat is back, crime hasn't gone away unlike when he first came. Okay, dude, the Batman needs to start fucking up criminals again because, I mean, this is just going crazy. His latest work was of the pig butcher. Oh, okay. He's got the little wings going. It seemed he replicated an old Norse ritual. After breaking out, I haven't seen the bat. Wait, who is this talking? But I've seen glimpses of the missing sometimes. They broke out of, of, of Arkham? But it seems everyone I've talked to has seen the bat at least once before. He's like a, he's like a Bigfoot sighting. That's kind of dope. Here's a photo a witness took. Okay. Right, yeah, let's see. Let's not go down dark alleys in Gotham. That's that's your first mistake. He's gotten so well known, they're featuring him in a TV show. Okay, all right. I imagine he goes home after a long day and sits down and watches that show. Not only are criminals being killed, but two of the missings were also found dead, seemingly killed with a cane. A cane? Hold up, Alfred beating the fuck out of these people? Duke Thomas and Helena both were presumed murdered. The Bertolinis have been hunting the killer ever since. I'm at the point to just keep myself locked in my home from now on. That's exactly what I do. Because I'm being stalked by... Not by the Batman. But by Dick. Hold up. Robin coming through? Oh, Robin! No, no, no! Here's a photo I took of him on my roof. Dude, that... Come on, y'all. That's... This was one of the many times I saw him. I saw him kill the Mad Hatter as well as Victor Zaz. All right, you got any pictures of that? Even though the bat and his robins go on, go and cause more harm than good, I don't really blame them for killing murderers, but at some point it crosses the line. I mean, does it? What, what goes around comes around type shit? I don't know. One night, Dick broke into my house and attacked me. I can't believe you're s still talking. I don't know why I did it. I was probably just desperate. This was his outcome. Did he kill Robin? Hold up. Batman's not gonna be happy. Jesus! Look! Damn! Okay, rest in peace, Robin. I'm sure Batman's got some more Robins, though, right? There's like so many of them running around. They never caught me for doing it. They think it was the Joker. Joker's the fall guy. I felt terrible about it, but I did it in the name of God. Okay. All right. After this incident, I fully took on the role of Azrael. I don't remember. Is, is that like, is Azrael a thing in, in Gotham? So far, I've taken down two criminals. Firefly and Killer Moth. I 
fuck with Killer Mob and Firefly, low key. Rest in peace. This time, I'm gonna make sure the bat stays dead. God will let me prevail. Alright. Okay, that's a little. Okay, look at the little cow. Or, wait, that's. That's a giraffe. I'm fucking. There's something wrong with me. Nullius Imperium Facio Nisi De Mamona Cadet Com. Cetetus Peter. Peri, per, pterodactyl. I don't know what any of that means. Oh, and that's it. Well, that was the Batman analog horror. Are we going to get more episodes? I hope so, dude. The Batman, I mean, we haven't seen him in a minute. Is he, is, has he retired? What's going on there? I need to see him again, dude. Rest in peace to Robin. Rest in peace, Killer Moth. Rest in peace, Firefly. Those... Those were my goats back in the day. I hope y'all enjoy this little look. I'm going to link the channel down in the description. Dude, I want to see Nightwing. If they bring out Nightwing, it's a wrap for every single resident in Gotham. I love y'all. Y'all are awesome. And remember that you can do anything you put your minds to. I believe in you. I love you guys so much. And I will see you tomorrow with another video. Peace.